I feel I'm down the bar. I've been around the world. I couldn't find a girl, so I'ma stick to him. Ew! What's up, Indian Nation? It's your boy over there, we are here with week one of the NPL, and oh my Jesus Christ, you have no idea how nervous I am for this battle, guys. I am so nervous. I'm scared nervous. I got my calc here. I got my recording going there, making sure it's recording. Moving that over a little bit. Um, boy, am I nervous. We're going up against the Montreal Monfernos, who is a legend in himself. Two championships under his belt. Um, Shout out to you, much respect, but if we can pull out this win, it'll be a division win first off, and it'll be a good way to start our season, just like we did last season. All the doubters have us losing, but you know, if we can start it off the same way we do every season with a W, I will be happy with it. But um, <clears throat> even if we lose, it's okay. I have a specific coach jacket that I'll be wearing in every video. It won't be this bin. I ordered it, and I'm still waiting for it to come in, so um, we'll see how that goes. But anyway, we're going to accept the battle. Uh, we have Mimikyu, Gramble, Garchomp, Empoleon. Mega Houndoom and Exploud. I want to make sure that's the right team. It is the right team. Alright, let's get it. Alright, so he brought the Shaman, the Drill, the Mega Alt, the T-Tar, and the Keldeo. And the Golbat. Okay, a lead. A good lead. He has Mega Altaria, which is... Okay. Gramble... I'm telling you, that's a Scarf Drill. That is a Scarf Drill. I said it in the team prep. By the way, if you didn't see our team prep and our reason for what we brought, make sure you go check it out. It went up yesterday. So, it's just there. So, yes. I'm going to say good luck, have fun. And we're gonna get on we're gonna get this we're gonna get it going we're gonna get it we're gonna get it we're gonna get it going i'm nervous i'm not gonna lie i am not gonna lie <laughs> um what's his lead i want to lead something where i could just okay i was so confused with what he just did okay i kind of want to because nothing on his team really takes boom burst that well drill i'm i'm gonna make sure right now because this lead is so scary x blood um uh, megan trainer Versus Excadrill. I think he's going to be the Scarf variant. It can't take two Boom Bursts. So, nothing switches in on a Boom Burst. Uh, his switch into a Focus Blast right now is Golbat. Um, what's a switch into a Fire Blast? Tyranitar? Keldeo? Um, yeah. Oh, this is crazy. I, I kind of want to leave with Triton. Because I feel like he's going to leave with that Drill. So I'm gonna leave with Triton. I'm gonna leave with Triton my Empoleon. He leveled the Keldeo. Okay. So <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Um I feel like I'm about to get swept if he's choice picks. Like I obviously can't stay in because I obviously can't stay in. Yeah, Secret Sword murders us. And we have no reason to stay in. Um, Scald, Hydro Pump. They don't kill. But they do a lot of damage. Now what I could do is I could burn my Disguise now. Not take any damage on anyone. Because this is going to hurt everybody on our team. Going to Pokeboo. But I feel like he'd be predicting me to switch in, obviously, one of my fairies that are defensive as crap. And then click play rough at Pokeboo. Now, this is if he's specs. If he's not specs, then we're in a better position. But, I mean, like, I could burn that. I still have my Sash. He doesn't have hazards up, so that should be a bad... Uh, that wouldn't be a bad idea. Um, make sure I'm still rec Okay, good. I am recording. Um, I could burn that. Hydro Pump Okozo's. Play rough doesn't even kill. And then he naturally outspeeds us, so we'll be end up being down to our sash. I gotta do that only because if he happens to click a fighting type move here, yeah, he went for surf. Okay, so wait, he has surf, not hydro pump. So he's going for power. So surf doesn't oko us. I mean, we have the sash anyway, but if I get to plus two here, I had to burn that just because it was the best play. Surf, I man, I should have predicted that and stayed in. That would have been stupid. I could have got rid of specs or something. If I was at plus two, this thing's gone with a player ref. But if he's not, oh, nope, because that's with no HP, no defense. Um, I'm just gonna click player ref for damage. Play combination of player ref, shadow seek should kill. Um, yeah, I had to go for the player ref there. I just had to straight up go for it, just because it was the best play. All right. Now, what does this Golbat want to do? 
Brave Bird? What what does Golbat want to do? What is Golbat's like? I don't really know. I don't really like use Golbat. It's physically defensive. It took thirteen. Okay, it's not as physically defensive as I think it is. Okay. Yeah, Toxic I guess is the next play. Um. Empoleon kind of walls this thing. So I'm gonna go into Triton right now. But if he goes back into that, gosh darn. Nah, that's still my best play. Because if he goes into, into Triton this time, I feel like... Ugh, I just hate playing this, man. He's so smart. Yeah, okay. Cool. Um, now, I feel like he's gonna think I'm gonna go for knockoff. So he's gonna switch it to the Keldeo. But getting rocks up is very important. But he has Defog on this thing. And his rock setter. His rock setter is T-Tar or Drill. Now getting rocks up is would be important. Uh, hurting Altaria. Hurting this thing. Uh, breaking any sashes on all the other mons. But what I really want to go for is a knockoff to knock off any items. So that's what I'm going to do. So he's Super Fang. Alright, let's get rid of that Eviolite. That's fine by me. Uh, and I'm going to get up. I'm going to go for Scald here. Try to get a burn on something. Because getting a burn on any of these mobs. Getting rid of that Evia Light was very helpful. Um, I didn't really want to go for Stealth Rocks there. Because I didn't feel like it was important. I need to get uh, Exploit in. Low key. I feel like he has to be Specs. He has to be Specs on that. I feel like it might be Choice Specs. Uh, Keldeo. Oh my gosh, I'm nervous. This is crazy. Alright, um, let me... I haven't eaten anything yet, so, like, I'm nervous as crap. And I'm, like, shaking, and it's just not working out for me. Okay. Alright, so he's gonna switch. Okay, we're gonna get rid of... Oh, wait, never mind. We're not gonna get rid of any items. We do get the bird! Hey, What's up? I'll take it. Now, our, uh... This... This, uh... Epoleon... Triton, 2A, Keldeo, how much did we just do with that? Like, that was cool and all, but I feel like he's specs, because with Surf, he has to be specs. Um, he is Surf, not Hydro Pope. Surf doesn't kill us. Uh, if he goes for Secret Sword, Loki, we're not in a bad position, just because of the fact that we could, uh, go into Tyke. Uh, we're AV. Um, I could click player up again. This thing doesn't have his Eevee light. See, this is a tough call. The Surf definitely doesn't kill. How much does Surf do to... See, but if he's locked... See, if he's locked in, then I can't switch out. Oh, this is so... So... Yeah, we can't... Oh my gosh, my encoding is overloading again. Oh boy, oh joy. Oh, it went away fast. Okay, so that shouldn't affect the recording too. Now, if I lose you, I need to keep Pokeboo's Sash attack. Or, I've scarfed, I've scarfed Ray Lewis. And we'll outspeed this thing. Unless he's scarfed. Unless he just so happens to be scarfed, which would suck. I'm gonna stay in. I'm gonna stay in and knock off whatever item he has. Yeah, okay. Oh, you got a crit too. Alright, so that's fine. Oh, he's Life Orb! How did I not notice that earlier? Bro, it's because I wasted my... Sat... My disguise. Oh, man. Okay, so he's Life Orb. Oh, that's... That's not better, but it's like... Uh, da, 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 but, ah. Life Orb. Okay, so with the Life Orb and Burn... I could go into Garchomp, but then he'll know for a fact I'm Scarfed. Can Granbull live any one hit from this thing? Granbull for sure. Surf does less, but if he Scalds, I'm screwed. What about a Sludge Bomb from Houndoom? What about Houndoom? Mega Houndoom. Because now Gen 7, we immediately do everything. Sludge Bomb doesn't kill from this range. Um, and I don't want to put x in that position. I could use Mimic you. 
um, go for Sword Stance, because from this range, Sword Stance Shadow Sneak kills. And we will still have the Sash intact. God forbid he has Scold. I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to go for Shadow Sneak. Or, I'm going to go for Sword Stance. I'm going to do it. Because he's in the range now where a Shadow Sneak kills. So if I get the Sword Stance up, Titar is gone from a play rough. Altaria is gone from a play rough. Golbat is my only issue. But we outspeed a Golbat right now. And I'm pretty... The only thing I'm scared about is Scarfed Drill. Literally, that is it. Scarfed Drill is the only thing that scares my existence. But what is extra drill? What is extra drill's base speed? It's 88, right? Yeah. So my thing is, yeah, we definitely got the SD up. That was the that was the play. All right. Now without the Evia light, how much does Golbat take from a Shadow Sneak or a Shadow Claw? You know what I'm talking about. At plus two. I feel a toxic coming. Do I go for another sword dance? I'm gonna go for another sword dance. Yeah, super fag me. We outspeed it. Whoa, he doubled out? Well, my sash is broken. But is he... He's not scarfed. He's not real. He's not real. Bop, bop. That's resisted. Um... I'm just gonna click play rough again. Wait. Yeah, I'm gonna click play rough again. Alright, down goes flap. Alright, Mimikyu. Okay, Mimikyu. He has to be. Sand Rush! What am I thinking? Bro, I am such an idiot. How did I not think of Sand Rush when I was prepping? Oh my gosh, he has T-Tar and Excadro. Yo, I'm an actual idiot, guys. I am an actual... Let's just talk about how much of an idiot I am and how he's not going to be Scarfed. He's just Sand Rush. L duh. L duh. At plus four, Shadow Claw Okos. Shadow Sneak does enough. Ugh, we don't outspeed with you, and we have no other priority. We're about to lose right now. Because he's life. He has to be life orb. Or Bannon. How much does... Frick, man. Explode. Oh, why didn't I think of that? Whoa. Good stuff from you. Oh, we can live any one hit with Explode. And then fire back with a boom burst. After the Shadow Sneak. Or I just click Surf. Or boom burst. Boom burst is the right play. I'm just gonna Shadow Sneak. I need the damage. Oh, there's the Earthquake. Yeah, he's Life Orb. Wait, can Gramble take one is my thing. If Gramble could take one, we might be in a better position. Gramble could take an Iron Head without a crit right now. And kill. I want to save Gramble though. Because that T-Tar is there. I'm scarfed. I need to wear out the Sandstorm. So there's like, what, three turns left on the Sandstorm? I'm gonna go in and make a trainer. I'm gonna let X-Pod. There's no crit! As long as there's no crit, we should be fine. No crit, we're good. What do I lose by clicking Focus Blast? Altaria comes in. Oh, this is a close one. This is actually an uh, interesting play, because how much does x do with 2A... Ty ran uh Ty 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 Ranatar. Ty You are a uh, support? For sure. Yeah, with the sand. Boomer says 20 to 24. That's a lot of damage though, because it's already taken. No, it hasn't taken any. That's enough damage. That's a lot of damage. That's enough damage. I'm gonna go for it. Cause me landing a focus blast now or me getting that damage off. The damage is a means a little more to me than anything else. Watch him carry Ice Beam on his T-Tar specifically for my guard jump. I want to see how much that actually would do. Shout out to x for being bulky enough. Um, 
Yeah, Ice Beam actually like low key kills me. Oh my gosh, my encoding's overloading me. Here comes Altaria. Yo, this is gonna do a crap ton. Oh, let's go! Get this Altaria off my screen! Get him! That's what I'm talking about! Let's go, x -Bloud. Get this big Altaria off my screen! x a freaking monster, man! x a freaking monster! Yo, I love- I love x -Bloud. But now, we're gonna be in the same scenario where the Sandstorm comes out. But now I know he's not Sand- uh, the- the- so- the- the Smooth Rock or whatever this- oh my gosh, yo. I can't let Mega Trainer take any damage. Mega Trainer low-key is right now awake on x a monster! Yo, x he's gonna go into T-Tar. I think the best play for him is go into T-Tar, set up the sand. Because x takes any one hit from any of those things. And I two-hit KO, literally. I two-hit KO the drill. I I think I- Do I Oko the Shaman? Do I Oko a Shaman? I don't know. The question is, does Shaman kill me? Shaman doesn't kill me. Uh, we have a chance to Oko. If we would've gotten rocks up, that would've been a guaranteed Oko right there. It'd be guaranteed right now. Like, if I had rocks were up on the field... I'm sorry, 93.8% chance. He has a slim chance of living, but still. Like, it has a 25% chance to Oko. Boom Burst does right now. Um, yo. Keeping this thing alive is priority right now. Mega Houndoom literally has no use anymore. He's going into Keldeo. Okay. Garchomp, you can live any one hit, right? I gotta remember that we're Scarfed. I can't lock myself into Outrage right now. Can I lock myself into... Can't lock myself... I have to lock myself into Earthquake. Gramble seriously serves no purpose anymore. I feel like going into, going into Garchomp here... Let me look. He is Life Orb. Did I knock off his Orb? Or no? No, I didn't. Okay. Just making sure. You never know. Life Orb? Okay. Then we have... Garchomp. Who can live any one hit, I hope. And not get burned! Oh frick, what if he has Icy Wind? He's just gonna click Surf. It's a safe play. I'm gonna go into Garchomp. Don't click Icy Wind. You're not real. Okay. 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 Now... Should, if I would have went to Gar Gramble there, that would have been way better. I'm going to preserve this, and I'm going to go into Tyke. Wait, do I? We're AV, but we have, like, no investment with the AV. Which, I just did it so I could live a little bit more. Oh, nope, that's not what I need. Yeah, but we take Secret Swords for days, take Icy Winds for days. Uh... We could take a combination of Hydro Pump, but he doesn't have Hydro Pump, so he's Scald. Um, or, uh, Sir. I don't know what other, other moves are. I think he has Icy Wind. I'm gonna go into Tyke. I'm gonna double into Tyke and see what he wants to do from there. He goes into Shaman. How much does a Fire Punch do to Shaman? Oh no, Encoding. I need you to stop overloading. I'm gonna go with Life Orb. I think he's a Life Orb set. Let's go with it. Why would he carry two Life Orbers, though? Fire Punch does... Okay, we're gonna go for Fire Punch here. Oh, whoa, Audacity's loading. That's freaking why. Oh, no, I need to close Audacity right now. Go away. That's why my encoding's overloading so bad. Frick, sorry about that, guys. I'm clicking Fire Punch. Wait, there's Close Combat a better play. C Flare does 37, but it lowers my Spadef. No! Oh, so he's bulky. Oh, he's a bulky leftover set. Oh, that sucks. Yo, that's obnoxious that the special defense dropped. I'm gonna go into Cerberus. I'm scared. What if he goes into T-Tar here? If he goes into Keldeo, it's not that serious. Because now I know he's not Scarfed. And I know Drill's not Scarfed. He's Sand Rush. <sighs> We've actually put ourselves in a pretty good position. x staying alive is really important. Now, I think that's physically defensive. Because if he's not physically defensive, something's wrong there. Cause that did 36 percent uh yeah he is definitely physically defensive i don't know about bold though he's definitely not life orb he's leftovers don't drop 
All right, Mega Houndoom with a special defense drop. I need to know. A flamethrower is gonna do a lot. Flamethrower is gonna do a lot. Question is, is it gonna kill? Is a sea flare gonna kill us at minus two spadef right now? No. And neither is a dazzling gleam. Cause that first one did 28, right? That's what the calc says, so at minus two we should be okay. Right? Now. What about Tyranitar? I know we can't touch a Tyranitar. I'm making sure to make sure to Evo. We can't touch a T-Tar, I don't think. If I get to plus two with the T-Tar. Against the T-Tar. What are we doing at that point? Literal nothing. So my best bet is to just click Flamethrower. Yeah, here comes the T-Tar. I think Mega Houndoom needs to go down at this point. I get it. Because, yeah, I sack him. The shaman's such a problem at that point. I'm going to go into Tyke. And get the Intimidate off. That's the best play. I need to keep Cerberus around literally just for the shaman. Oh, this is so crazy. I'm trying to burn as many turns of sand as possible. But if I get into Tyke here, and he switches into Drill, and I totally spaced about Intimidate, guys. Like... I have Intimidate sitting on my team this whole time. I have sp and I'm not in the zone to battle. Not in the, I'm not in the battle zone. I haven't been in coffee yet this morning. I haven't. I don't know. Let's get the Intimidate off. <laughs> when you forget about Z moves. Okay, what on this team now wants to take a Focus Blast? Oh, see, I gotta keep making Trader. How much is an Earthquake going to do? It's such a physically defensive Shaman. I hate Shaman! Gosh, Shaman is such an issue, man. I hate battling Shamans, man. He has to be full-out physically defensive. Like, there's no way he's not. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. You're at minus one, my good man. Nice beam still kills me. Outrage is kill this guard shot. When you wish you would have brought sand pill guard chomp. Earthquake doesn't even kill from this range. I need to weaken this thing more. But how? I totally forgot about the Z move too. Focus Blast kills that at this range. Kills that. Definitely kills you. Unless you have a... No, you had a Z boot. You had your Z item. So that's fine. What about Shaman? How much is a... Con or how much... Continental Crush. How much is... I would have to land so many freaking Focus Blasts for this to go through. But... It'd be worth it. Explode. Two. He's at minus one, so he can't really do much. What about Shaman? How much does that do to his Shaman? Because, you know, Shaman is naturally bulky. Two Ko's. From this range. Two Ko's naturally. I need this thing lower on HP. And you get, if Keldeo dies, no, we lose. We would still lose that situation. Alright, I'm gonna go into Mega Trader. We're gonna lose a lot of, we're gonna probably lose some HP. I have to click Focus Blast. I have to. I could double into Cerberus. No, that'd be stupid, because he'll just go into Drill. 
Why would he go into drill knowing I'm going to click Focus Blast? Why would he... S Any switch he makes gets bought by... He's probably going to think of... Ooh, do I just click Boom Burst? Wait, if I just click Boom Burst on this... On this... Tyranitar, how much am I doing? I actually... Not sure. About 25%. To a point where Scarf Chomp comes in and clicks Earthquake a couple times. Shape. I have servers. I'm just gonna click Boom Burst. Oh, he switched. Okay, down goes the Shaman. Okay. It's one big threat out of the way. Okay. Earthquake spam is eminent. I think Earthquake spam is here now. The problem is, literally, my only problem... Oh, wait, I am all caps right now. I don't know if Garchomp can take anything for this thing. So this thing outspeeds me. This thing, for 125% kills me with the move. Do I... Do I sack Cerberus? Cerberus has no use at this point. Oh, it outspeeds everything. It outspeeds the Keldeo. Naturally. I could kill with a Sludge Bomb. And the Sand will go away in a couple turns. I think I'm just going to sack you. Yeah. I'm just going to sack Mega Trainer. Mega Trainer, I applaud you for the work you've put in this battle. Uh, the Sand goes away next turn. What's the best I could do with the T-Tar to Mega Hound do? That's my thing. Okay, wait. Garchomp? I need to look at Garchomp real quick. Garchomp does... 65 to 78% with an Earthquake. And this thing's at 80-something, right? 85. Flamethrower did that damage. So that'll put... Flamethrower should put it... Oh, it's such a close call. Oh, it's such a close call. How much is Flamethrower... Because I just clicked Flamethrower a couple times. I looks like. Sludge Bomb and Flamethrower combination look like my, my plays. Keldeo. The problem is... Oh, this is gonna... This is... Oh, man. This is gonna be a photo freaking finish. I think I'm gonna take the L. But, hey. This is... This is... This is... This is worth it. Okay. So, we want... We want Mega Houndoom. Houndoom. Houndoom! Thank you. <laughs> Versus... Keldeo. Can I kill with an Earthquake from this range? Because I don't want to, like... You're a life orb. You're actually a life orb set. Like, he'll kill himself, but I don't want to risk that right now. Like, he's dead this turn anyway, so he has nothing to lose. Oh, yeah, we definitely 100% kill with a flamethrower. We outspeed. 100%. 100%. So that's what I'm gonna do. We're just gonna click flamethrower and kill this thing. Oh my gosh, yo! I didn't expect Mega Howard to actually put it. Wait, hold on. Flamethrower. Okay, just making sure I click flamethrower. He can't risk me setting up a nasty plot, so he obviously isn't going to click. He's going to stay in and just sack this thing. Or he's going to save it for differential. And I'm going to get two flamethrowers off on a Tyranitar. But he doesn't want to switch into T-Tar here. Solely because of um, the fact that Sand goes away this turn. So if he switches in now, he won't have Sand. He'll have to switch out and switch back in. Which wouldn't necessarily be it idea but we can sit here and spam earthquake as long as the if as long as this uh what's it called i should have brought sun i just now i'm thinking about it sun would have been so helpful like maybe in polyon i should have brought torkoal that would have been the only other exception i think i could have made this team because rocks really weren't that important um even though yeah there goes okay so mega houndoom picks up another or that's his first kill yeah good job mimic you killed golbet x blood killed the altarian shaman all my, honestly, my picks that I weren't expecting to do stuff this game, came through. Here comes the Tyranitar. I think he wins because of speed. So let me look. Exca, Drill, Sand Rush, obviously. Life Orb. Because we're, we're nowhere near full HP to live a hit. 154, he doubles to 308. And yeah, we're not getting to 300. So 1.5. Let me pull out the calculator. He's at 308. There's no way we outspeed. 
unless he uh and I don't think I'm gonna put him in range with this flamethrower either unless I get a crazy burn um I mean I have to just click flamethrower or bait for flinches it's one of the two I don't want to bait for flinches that's so disrespectful um <laughs> even though I could it'd probably be my best plan of action low-key Tyranitar I swear on life, I haven't won a league match in such a long time, guys. This is, this is getting ridiculous. Dark Pulse does like 10% less, so might as well go for flitches. I'm for Ice Punch. This is literally all I can do. I'm just letting you know right now. Yeah, there goes that. Oh, if he would have missed the stone edge, I would have flipped my lid. But extra Joe wins in the game. I'm just going to click Earthquake twice. Uh, there's no way he loses this. Unless he's not max speed. The only way he doesn't lose this. The only way he, yeah, the only way he doesn't lose this is if he's not max speed. Yeah, there it is. Ah, oh, GG. Dang, man. Hey, I don't care. That was such a great game. That was such a good game. Oh, it came down to the wire. Oh, man. I just want to look. I just want to look. See how much... I mean, obviously, uh, this, it kills me. It kills me 10,000 times. But if I was at full HP, if I would have not switched in and went for the... The one play that would have won me this... The one play that would have won me this game is had I... If I switched on this Keldeo, if I would have switched into the... Grand Bull. That's literally the only play. If I did that play differently, I would have won this game. Or if he missed that Stone Age. If he missed that Stone Age, I would have won the game too. Oh my gosh! Oh, that's so disappointing to lose like that. Oh, that's so disappointing. But you know what? It's okay. Um, It was a fun battle nonetheless. 13%. <sighs> dang but yeah if i would have clicked i'm gonna switch to my face so that we can talk but um if i would have done two things differently the only thing i guess no not even one thing differently if i would have switched to the grand bull on that sacred sword and not garchomp i actually would have won the game because garchomp would have been at full hp and my calc shows with life orb jolly um if he was adamant i think i would have outsped right i mean even if he was adamant i think i live if he's adamant i live and if he was adamant i outspeed 140 wait he would have been at 280, 169. Let me pull out my calculator. This is the only, this is like pre, pre, pre post talk, post little meeting. I'm not sure if I outspeed. Uh, yeah, I totally spaced about, uh, no, we wouldn't have outsped if he's adamant, but we would have lived at full HP and Earthquake would have killed and we would have won the game. With that, you guys, unfortunately, that was our week one loss. I think we have Adam next week, coach of the, I forget his team that fast. Bro, what is his team? You know who Adam is. We played him week one. He's the crazy team. Anyway, you guys. With that, I'm going to get that cup out of here. Um, I'm, very, I'm very proud of Xbloud this week. He proved the, exactly what I did. He had no switches to it. And me clicking Boom Burst every time was just smarter. Was better plays. And I had to sack him there. Cerberus obviously proved useful at the end more than... Yeah. The only play that I think I would have made differently was switching Garchomp out for Gramble. Literally putting Gramble in. And maybe even bringing the sun. Torkoal bringing in the sun. Uh, bringing Torkoal with um, a sun rock over... What the frick is that thing's name? Empoleon. Because Empoleon literally did nothing this game. What I wanted Empoleon to do was go up one-on-one -on -one against this thing. But I didn't really have the option to because early I had bad leads. Uh, but with that, you guys, I think I'm going to get that out of here. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. I know it's a pretty long battle, 34 minutes, but um, also subscribe if you're new. But with that, I'm going to get the heck out of here. Thank you for watching the video. To the Mini Nation from the Northern Nation, I'm out.